finally, we finally finished testing all four of the machines. Let's go look at some results, shall we? I don't know whether to be shocked or upset that you guys actually chose this model. Like this thing? The Benchy on the, the C's? Come on. All right, here it is. All right, so we're going to run them one by one, make it easy so no one can say, oh, different filament, different roll. One roll, ABS purple. We're going to do all of them, ABS purple. Let's hit it with the D3 first. I guess this is the one you guys really want to see is the KE. And it finished. Let's get it out of the enclosure. Feels hot in here. Oh, yeah, it's hot in here. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I never learned. I never learned. Maybe it's off the plate. That's a KE for you. Um, that's, that's ABS. That's ABS. It's your turn. Come on, Diablo. Let's do it for the value brand. Oh, let's hope it holds a little bit of a warp on the front, but let's see if this will finish. Thank you, Diablo. Oh, yes. Other than the warp. Oh, yes. Look at that fuel. Yeah, and that's the V3's little bit of issues there on the bridging up top and the overhangs. And, hmm. Just expecting a little more from this machine. Just a little bit. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong. Just didn't expect that. And on the CR10, there's a line there, obviously, but, uh, needs to come down a little bit. i adjust the Z offset on this thing. There we got four benches and ABS. We're going with the basket. Oh, you finished way earlier, remember? Yeah. We're making basketballs in TPU. No, they're not going to bounce. I have some other parameters I gotta change to make them bounce, but we can do what we gotta do! There they go, they're all done, finally. Yes, let's get them off the build plate. This one we already cleaned, so let's get the rest of them cleaned off and see what we got. And there's the pull off of the V3. I didn't even have to clean it. I just yanked it off. Just yanked off the bottom. That's it. Really nice on the V3. TPU killer. And the KE. Oh, that popped right off. Let's just take that off. Taking off the CR10. And let's look at the balls. We got a CR10 here. Nice. No issues, no problems with the CR10 with the TPU. All these retractions still did a great job. Yeah, next up is a KE. Again, all the holes are looking good. We don't have much stringing, if any. Except from the bottom portion where it was supported. But again, another good print. TPU on the KE. I'm going to have to give it to the V3. It's way cleaner. And again, just those lines underneath where it was supported. Otherwise... The V3, yeah. I'd give it to the V3 on this one. And the SE, the underdog. Also, a little bit of stringing, but not a problem with it at all. Still handled it well with the retractions. <laughs> We're still printing. I'm falling asleep at this point now. Good night. Yeah, we got the V3 is done. 
CR10 just needs one more head. One more head for the KE. It's building the body now. And the last of the heads for the SE is going. So we should be almost done here in a few minutes. And then we get to PLA for the last print. Whew. And now all the Luke Skywalkers are done. Yeah, their heads are different. But they all pretty much came out the exact same. There was only one slight issue, and that was on the SE. This is off of the V3 Core XZ. And then this one is going to be our SE. Now, the issue here with these layer lines is my PTFE tube had a little bit of a crimp in it. It was causing a bit of drag and causing the motors to skip a little bit. Once we figured that out, as you see, cleared right up and the rest of the print went fine. Uh, all the lightsabers were printed actually on the uh, K1. So it was not part of the prints. Then... We have the KE down here. Again, beautiful prints. Beautiful, beautiful print. I haven't glued any heads on, but there was three variations of the head. Mustache, no mustache. And there you go. No mustache on the CR-10 SE. CR-10 SE has a little bit more issue with the service texture. There's smooth smooth and smooth not your skywalkers decided on boxes those new clip boxes so yeah that's what we're doing we're doing boxes for the pla make it simple and the new one done first of course how do we guess that happening the Alpha is still going, and the KE is looking almost finished, and the CR-10 is still going slow, like this whole round. And the final results of the containers from the PLA. We got the SC Diablo here with nice, beautiful prints, no issues, no problems. They all open and close. So, again, great print. Another one here. I cheated. Yes, I changed out to the cool bed because it was working so well. So, these also open and close. No issues with these. These are all good prints. Ooh, a little tight, but yes, pops open. And closes. Then down on the CR-10, same thing, but we did get some warp on the bottom. If, once this thing is rooted, I should be able to change the Z offset. Because right now it does a manual, or it does an automatic Z offset. does need to come down just a smidge. Uh, otherwise it's starting to curl. Then we have the KE. Yes, ran out of filament. Thought it had enough green to make it finish. It did not, but... Uh, went with the gray. Everything else came out great. No issues with this KE. Beautiful machine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So real simple. If you're looking for a budget printer to modify, go ahead and get the SE. It's okay out of the box. Tweak it a little bit. It'll be great. It is still running Marlin and not Clipper. You can modify it, run Clipper on it. Really changes its dynamic on this printer. The new one. Once that firmware, I was a little worried after this Benchy came out because the input shaping wasn't that great. When they did the new firmware, the input shaping came out a lot better, and I didn't have any issues with the lines being a little bit 
over, extruded at the edges. And as you see, Luke Skywalker came out just fine. The Prince came out just fine. The TPU ball came out just fine. Everything on this printer printed once the firmware happened, a firmware update happened. It's been printing awesomely. It's printing awesomely before the firmware update, but the input shaper needed some work. I think this thing is ready to go now. The CR10. Um, what's the best way to explain this printer? This printer really is just a continuation of the Ender 3 S1 Pro. Just added a few more things on it to make it faster. The bigger motors on it. The Nebula Pad running clipper. The things you would want on an Ender 3 Pro. Uh, or Ender 3 S1 Pro. So if you like an Ender 3 S1 Pro and you just want to step up to the next level. This is a good starting point. But I would pick this. Over every single one of all four, I'd have to stick with the KE. The KE has done everything I've asked of it. It's done great with TPU. It's done, done, ugh, it's done great with ABS, PETG. Anything I've thrown at it, it's done exactly what it needed to do. This is completely unmodified printer. Yes, that's a Nebula camera holder. That's the only thing that's on this thing. That's it. So, ugh, I can't, can't explain how much this printer really, really is going to change the game. This one's good. It's great. It's four hundred dollars. This one's good. It's great. It's two fifty nine. I mean, it, it does almost identical to this. Yes, you get a little bit more speed with this one, but you're talking a difference of minutes between this one and this one. So, is it worth going to this one? Sure. Yeah, if you want the top of the line one, but it's not really necessary. You can get away with the KE. The CR10, I, I, I'm not saying avoid it. I'm just saying if you like the Ender 3 S1 Pros, go ahead and get yourself a CR10 SE because it really, it's just the next continuation. And then, like I said, with the SE budget model, upgrade it, modify it, make it great, make it print beautifully if that's what you're into. If you're not, just grab the KE. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, Put them down in the comment below. And if you forgot, we're still waiting for 500 votes on which printer. We're really trying to give this printer away. Don't forget, go into the community. Put your vote in now for which printer you would like as a free giveaway printer. <sighs> and as always, happy printing. We'll see you on the next video.